Hi friends, and thanks so much for stopping back by the channel. Today we have a super fun DIY. We are going to make this bird seed wreath to draw some wildlife into our yard. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me show you the ingredients. We are going to start with some nonstick spray. I'm using olive oil. You can use any of the kinds that you want. All of them will work. Next, we need three tablespoons of corn syrup. It's going to be the light corn syrup is what we need, three tablespoons of that. We need some unflavored gelatin. Now, when you buy it in a box like this, there are four packages in there. We only need one, but you could totally do four wreaths with this one box of gelatin. We are going to use three quarters of a cup of flour. I use unbleached because it gives it a less dusty white look to the wreath when it's finished one half cup of very warm water we have four cups of bird seed and then we just have a few cranberries here in front you are going to need a large mixing bowl and a very strong spoon for this and a bunt or a jello mold pan i totally paid 10 cents for this old bunt pan at a garage sale and it's perfect for this project you are going to need some ribbon or some string to tie it up with in the end. So just any ribbon or string will do. First step, very important, make sure that you spray every area on the inside of your pan. This is going to help your wreath come out in one piece and not fall apart. This is also the time where you really want to add your fruit. Now remember when you flip a bunt pan upside down and take it out, the bottom becomes the top or the face. So this is when you want to add your fruit. The first step in making the mixture is to put your gelatin in the bowl and using your very warm water, you want to take a few minutes and be very thorough about mixing this gelatin. You want it to dissolve really well. This is an important step. So take a moment here and stir and dissolve it very well. We are going to then add our three tablespoons of light corn syrup. That warm water is also going to help dissolve that corn syrup, so that is a good idea. And we are going to slowly add in our flour, and you want to mix everything very well here. This is very important. Now we're going to add our four cups of birdseed. Now I'm using just your general birdseed mix, wild bird from Lowe's, and you can totally adjust this as long as you keep to four cups for what lives in your backyard. If you want to do black thistle, you want to add in some black sunflower or do all black sunflower, you could do that. Uh, you want to chop in some peanuts for some woodpeckers or some blue jays, you can do that too. But you just want to make sure that you mix, mix, mix very, very well because you want to make sure each and every seed is coated. That's going to help it bind together and keep its shape. So it's very important to mix this really well. When you are done mixing, it's going to look like this. And that is what your end product will look like. You're going to place this down in your bunt pan and you want to make sure that you are making an even level all the way around. You see that it comes out of the bowl pretty clumpy. So you want to make sure that you're distributing it very evenly through the pan. You might even have to press it down and then add more. But the pressing is very, very important. You want to take your time and do this also because it's going to help it stick together. After it's done, you want this to rest or cure for 24 hours. Um, you can even do two days. I wouldn't do longer than that, but the longer the better. And when you take it out, you should just flip it right out. It should come right out. And that's why we put all that spray in the front and there we have our wreath isn't it really cute we're just going to add our ribbon and hang it up now if you follow me over on instagram you will know that i love to feed the birds and uh i do these wreaths all the time if you don't follow me on instagram i'll be sure to link that below so you can and see all the behind the scenes things over here at the bloomwell farm 
And if you are a chicken mom, you can totally make these for your flock. They will love them. It can decorate their run for the holidays and they will love this bird seed. See that it was so easy to do this project this is a fun crafty winter diy it is perfect for the snow day it is a perfect opportunity because it is so festive to give it as a gift it is a great gift to give someone who is a shut-in or you could put this at the senior center you could put it outside your office anywhere at home these are just a great gift giving idea so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this diy Please give a like, a thumbs up. Please subscribe and follow along. I look so forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, be blessed, be safe.